Hi folks, this is Jay. I hope you're okay today. We're looking at the Samaritan woman and we're looking at she was taught. We've looked at she was loved, uh, she was invited, she was exposed, and now we're looking at the Samaritan woman was taught. If you turn to John 4.21, John 4.21, and we're Jesus said unto her, Woman, believest me, the hour cometh that you shall neither in the mountain nor yet at Jerusalem worship the Father. You worship, you know not, not what. We know what we worship, for salvation is of the Jews. God is spirit, but the hour cometh and now is when the truth worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth, for the Father seeketh such to worship him. God is a spirit. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. God, uh, Jesus Christ taught the Samaritan woman to worship God in spirit and truth. There was something important there. You see, the Samaritans used to argue with the Jews and say, we worship God on this mountain. And the Jews said, no, you're worshipping God on the round mountain. We worship God on this mountain. And there was arguments between the religious two. And Jesus saying, no. The way to worship God is in the heart and through truth. We worship God in spirit and in truth. And we need to be taught that true religion is about relationship. It's about a spiritual, vital relationship with God. It doesn't matter what mountain you worship God. It doesn't matter what building you worship God in. What matters is that your heart before God is right. That you're willing to give him your heart and allow the Holy Spirit to dwell in you. Um, there are some basic things that we need to learn in the Christian life and I'm going to share with them in another series of videos so the point about this is she was a lady who really really needed to come into contact with Christ she really needed to know she was a sinner she needed to know she needed the Holy Spirit and that's what you need to know today that God loves you but that you're a sinner and you need to be born again by the Holy Spirit. Okay, thank you for listening and God bless you.